Hello, you're with Business Live from BBC News with Ben Thompson and Sally Bundock. Trade war trouble, tensions with the United States begin to bite as China's economy grows at its slowest pace in nearly 30 years. We're live, we're in London, that's our top story today, Monday the 15th of July. The world's second biggest economy grew by 6.2% in the three months to the end of June. So will it push the government in Beijing to inject more stimulus and even try and strike a deal with the US? Also in the programme, delivering a blow to Amazon on one of its biggest days of deals. Workers in the US target Prime Day with a strike over pay and conditions. And for markets in Europe, they've started on a positive, new, uh, positive note as we begin a very busy week for corporate earnings. And the internet may make it easier than ever for firms to go global, but just how do you stand out from the crowd? Is it all about getting a boost in the search engine rankings? We'll speak to the founder of one firm that's hoping to offer small business a helping hand. And after what was a thrilling weekend of sport with the winners taking home millions, we want to know what can be done to invest in tomorrow's champions. Are elite sports really off limits for young talent if they don't have a wealthy backer? Let us know. We'll discuss a little later. Just use that, the hashtag BBC Biz Live. A very warm welcome to the programme. Let's catch our breath, shall we, after that crazy day of sport on Sunday. And we begin to talk you through what's happening in the world's number two economy, China. It grew at its slowest pace in almost three decades in the three months to the end of June.